Mr. Bauer, you were awarded with an honorary medal by the German president for your efforts to improve technical education and the German-Turkish dialogue. Can you please tell me why cooperation between Germany and Turkey is so important to you? Yeah, this is of course a question which <laughs> is not that easy to answer. But of course, uh, Turkey and Germany and Germany and Turkey has a very long tradition, cultural tradition, and uh, this tradition goes back several hundred years. On the other side, uh, in the modern times, Turkey and Germany has a big chance to uh, work closer together in the field of industry, in the field of trade, in order to make this this trade uh, exchange possible and and uh, the, the, the cooperation is possible. We need to have uh, uh, an improvement on, on on education. So only if we have, let's say, bo on both sides qualified people, we we can uh, we can come together. And this was for us the, the driving force to involve in education, to bring at least, or to try to bring in on the Turkish side the, the education more on the, on the European level, to make a real exchange possible. It's a very noble cause. Um, and what value do you see in, a, in an event like the one here today, the Tur Turkish-German Innovation Summit? What value does it have that's to do? that's it's very important uh, because only if people meet a dialogue can happen. Yeah, uh, today we have of course internet and and iPhones and theoretically we don't need to come together anymore. Yeah, we can do all at home uh, in the morning in the bed or in the evening in the, in the bathroom. But uh, this does not replace the the personal interaction. The the handshaking is very important. Yeah, uh, culture has a lot to do, of course, on words and, and, and seeing, but also on touching, on, on, on seeing, on, on getting the, 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 the smile of the people. Therefore, the, the meeting itself is very important. And now, of course, the content of the meeting, innovation, Turkish-German innovation dialogue, very important. For Germany, innovation is a very old subject. For Turkey, innovation is quite a new event. Yeah, so one can learn from each other, one can share. One can provide information, methods, road to go, and the other side can learn. So it's a very important event to, to meet, to see each other, to exchange personally the views, but also to learn from each other. And do you think Germany can learn anything from Turkey? Yeah, definitely. Because we have uh, in Germany to be careful not to, not to, not to lose the ground. Yeah, uh, we have, we face it several times in university dialogues where we invite German professors and, and Turkish professors, German rectors and Turkish rectors. And, uh, there is sometimes the risk to, 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 to yeah, to move, to move in the wrong direction. I don't want to use this word arrogancy, but, uh, it, it can happen. Yeah. So, uh, that type of meeting uh, is resetting the stage and, and there is a certain type of equality happening and minister or uh, let's say normal participants uh, come together just for, for, for a dialogue, and this is, is very important. Okay. And on another note, I saw that you're chairman of the board at Festo Turkey. Can you tell me a little bit more about your medium to long term um, research and development strategy? Well, our, our main researches and developments are done in headquarters in Germany. Yeah, so we have there a very big development, R and D department, research and development department, and uh, mainly the, the the basic developments are done in our headquarters in Germany, where there are more than three thousand engineers uh, busy with with uh, with this question to to develop uh, to find new ideas, to find uh, uh, new new innovations, and to transfer these innovations into products. We in the market we work more on applied research. That means we transfer this. Uh, the solutions which are developed in the headquarter into practical applications in the market. So our engineers, and we have around 60 engineers in the market, they are, they, they, they develop solutions for application. Yeah, so the headquarter products, the technology which we get from, from, from our, from our headquarters, uh, in the field of mechatronics, these technologies have to be implemented in, in, in machine applications or a production line automation applications but this needs at the end applied applied engineering yeah to to provide final solutions so our engineering competences are more on the applied engineering side so our so called r&d is an applied r&d in the market yeah we are not doing basic research this is done in the headquarters in in, in germany okay. okay and what are you or what did you like most about the turkish german innovation summit what did i like most yeah, I, 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 I like the idea itself, yeah, to, to come together. And, uh, 
I, I like the, the good level of, of, of uh, participation. Yeah, uh, th there are uh, real uh, strong, strong people uh, on, 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 they have, they, they have a, a word to say. Yeah, managers, general managers. I like also the nice participation from the, from the Turkish side, the administrators from, from different organizations, from, from Bursa, from Ankara, from the Patent Institute, from the Chambers. From the from the government, yeah, like Mr. Minister came also. I, I like the mixture, yeah, and the level is also okay, and it, it it's a good event. It's uh, well done. Thank you very much for your time. Thank you.